you ever wonder how water gets from a natural spring like this into a bottle? Let's go find out. What you've got here is a natural spring flowing. This water flows year round and uh, I've been here for 15 years and it's always flowed. If we were in, not in the bottled water business, the water would still be flowing. It wouldn't make any difference. It's a natural spring. What we've chosen to do here is to extract our water by using borehole extraction rather than above ground capture. What you've got here is you've got the borehole itself. As you can see, it's, it's got a concrete structure around it to keep any infiltration of any kind of water getting in. The water never sees uh, the open air. It's inside of a pipe from the time it comes out of the ground until it gets to the bottle. Since, since we've been to the outside, we've seen the source, we've seen the borehole. Let's go to where the product water enters the plant. Okay. And I'll explain the process of filtration and what goes on with water before it gets to the, to the filler line. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cool. Can I snag a bottle of water to drink? I'm kind of thirsty. We meter the water, we know how many gallons of water we take out of the ground every day. We know exactly how many gallons of water we produce and we know how much water we return okay. every day. And how many, or how much gallons are produced a day, roughly? Roughly, uh, here we're probably producing 150,000 gallons a day, roughly. Wow, that's a lot. When the water flows into the facility, the first thing we do is it passes through a multimedia filter. And this is kind of like a sand filter on your pool, only a lot more complex. Okay. Then the process, the water flows from the multimedia filter system. It flows to a five micron nominal filter. So when you're filtering something, you start with the big and go to the small. So it passes to a five micron nominal, then it passes to a one micron nominal. And then when the water passes from the one micron nominal filter, it goes to the UV system. If there was any bacteria in the product, when it gets to the UV, it would kill it. A one micron absolute is the final filtration process before it goes to ozonation. Then the water goes to an ozone system where it's ozonated. And all of these things are done for bacterial purposes to be sure that if there was a bacterial problem, this catches it, yeah. this resolves it. And here's our lab technician. Hi. <laughs> and she is doing a routine uh, bacteriological testing currently as we're here. Okay. Uh, she'll show you what she does. We test for ozone. Can you store this in the anchor bag? And then tomorrow morning we'll check to see if it has any back to your That seems really clean. <laughs> Thinking this is a really intense process that water goes through and I never really thought about it. I thought water just came from a spring or they purified it just a little bit and then I started drinking it and I'm glad that they do all this so I'm not drinking water that has chemicals that I do not want in my body. I bet everyone here is very hydrated. Did you hear me? We're getting ready to go into the blow hole room and you have to have hearing protection before you go in there. They come in like this, they go into the hopper, they run up the conveyor and down the sink. You can see it runs down the sink, it comes around, it blows the bottle and it comes back up the bottle. How many 
do we produce today? We can produce as much as 30,000. Honestly, I had no idea. I thought, I thought, I don't even know. I want I want one of these so I can keep it. Also, we'll let you have it. A little souvenir. Cool. This is some of the private labels that we have. How many labels do you guys think you produce? Thousands and thousands. I can't tell you an exact number. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Feel like I'm in a fabric store, but they're labels. <laughs> oh, awesome. Definitely getting my name on a water bottle someday. Are these people's like bottles that they bring back to you and then you refill them and send them out again? Yes. This is the original recycling program. This is a, called HOD or Home Office Delivered Bottles. And what happens here is these bottles are used multiple times, sometimes as many as 50 times. Scrambler and the de scrambler sets the bottles up on the line, which okay. uh, gets them in position to go into the filler room. Okay. If you follow me, we'll go into the clean room. Okay. Off to the cleaning room. Is all my hair in? This is the bottle rinse. As the bottles come in from the outside from the beach scrambler, they pass through a bottle rinse and they're rinsed with ozonated water. We're gonna fill the bottles up. As you can see, the bottles are automatically yeah. positioned with the screw where it puts them on to the, to the filler line. Bottles are filled up in this circle each time. That's a 36 head filler. It fills 36 bottles at a time. At, like, what's the rotation on it? Every. Um, this machine will run at 250 bottles a minute. Okay. Putting a cap on. As soon as the bottle comes out of the filler, it picks up a cap. And the cap is screwed on with a. Uh, uh. Are they dried by a machine out there? There's an air blower that blows air on them right outside the door before the label goes on. Okay. I get it now. I understand. I know I'm always going to drink bottled water for the rest of my life. This is where the label is applied to the bottle. This is where you get your brand identity at for whatever water you're running. The bottles come out of the clean room and they get warm air blown on them to dry the water off from them. So the label will apply. Mm -hmm. 
So now, after they go through this, then they're gonna get packaged? Correct. In 24 packs? Correct. This will be packaged in 24 count trays. up with a finished product, shrink wrap, ready to go to the consumer. Uh -huh. I want to pick one up. I just feel like I'm in Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory, except for instead of chocolate, we have water. I like the bottle. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you so much for the tour today. I learned a lot. Thank you. We appreciate you coming. Not only did I learn a lot today, I also got a souvenir. I can probably.